And we begin today with two big headlines from the Hochul administration. New York's new governor promised transparency and she has delivered, revealing nearly 12,000 more COVID-19 deaths in the state than the Cuomo administration previously publicized. CBS2 has also learned Governor Hochul has suggested and selected her choice for lieutenant governor. Sources telling us it is State Senator Brian Benjamin who represents Harlem, East Harlem and the Upper West Side. We'll have more on that in just a moment, but we begin with that big discrepancy in COVID numbers and political reporter Marsha Kramer is here to explain it all for us. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, Kathy Hochul didn't waste any time in proving she intends to be the Uncuomo, but in releasing new information on COVID deaths, she got a twofer, praise for transparency and the opportunity to tarnish Cuomo's image as a truth teller. We're now releasing more data than had been released before publicly so people know the nursing home deaths and the hospital deaths are consistent with what's being displayed by the CDC. Kathy Hochul said her administration would be more transparent and today she started delivering, acknowledging that there have been 12,000 more COVID deaths here in New York during the pandemic than reported by Andrew Cuomo. She said 55,400 New Yorkers have died from COVID since the pandemic began. A press release put out by Cuomo two days ago on his last day in office put the total at 43,404. There's just a lot of things that weren't happening and I'm going to make them happen. Transparency will be the hallmark in my administration. Reaction to the governor's move was swift, many claiming that Cuomo hid COVID death numbers to enhance his reputation. It's pretty obvious that when you're running around the country pretending to be the king of COVID um, that downplaying the numbers helps that cause. Um, and we also know that Andrew Cuomo is a manipulator and someone who had no qualms about misrepresenting information. Assemblyman Ron Kim, a dogged critic of Cuomo for underreporting nursing home deaths, said he thinks the governor did it to help get a lucrative book deal. If you're chasing after a $5.1 million book contract, but if the numbers don't look good and you're now viewed as someone who can't manage the nursing home deaths and the fatalities in your state, he might not have gotten the lucrative deal that he got. A Cuomo spokesman defended the decision to release lower numbers, pointing out that the governor made a decision to release totals only for deaths verified by lab reports. That number did not include people who died at home, in prisons, and at hospice centers. If the new administration wants to make policy changes, that's their right, the spokesman said. There are presumed and confirmed deaths. People should know both. The public deserves a clear, honest picture of what's happening. And that's, whether it's good or bad, they need to know the truth. And that's how we restore confidence. That's been the, what I've done for 27 years in an elective office. It's not, not a new concept to me. Well, Governor Hochul's move has opened up the floodgates. Assemblyman Ron Kim and others are demanding that she respond to requests for COVID information filed under the Freedom of Information Law. Kim also wants her to fire Health Commissioner Howard Zucker. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Marcia, thank you for that update.